Lonely Attack on the Different World, Web Novel Chapter 46. If I fry them, will I be able to escape this lengthy trial? And by them, I mean the geeks. Day 25, morning, the white weirdo in. The long sermon went all night long, or rather, from the middle of the night up until early morning. It is still in force in the present continuous form. A joint effort, all stars, surrounded on all sides. Everyone is taking their turns. Will I be able to escape this if I fry them? The geeks, for example, I can fry them, right? They have no intentions of helping me. Yeah, I positively should do this. They kept endlessly scolding me, but I had no other options. Yet, they kept relentlessly lecturing me, but no one aside from me could have pulled that off. They fervently scolded me. Isn't it all that Kawamoto guy's fault? I lost my allowance. This is just too much. I did my best, you know. I did, you know. A discussion began. The geeks seemed to have no intentions of helping me. Read the mood. I'm hunting them down later and then frying them. Those idiots were idiots. Well, it's not like I expected anything else from those guys. So what is his deal in the end? Why could no one beat him? He interfered with the minds and nervous system. Kind of. Mind manipulation combined with illusions and abnormal statuses. It's impossible to even fight him properly. And what about plunder? He copied it with mimic. Or imitated? Mimicked, kind of. That's why no one paid any attention to him. No one was on guard, and with no one keeping an eye on him, he was able to go through his preparations, and he could execute his plan into reality. He had tons of skills, right? Thirteen people's worth. Hmm? Magic immunity, instant death, abnormal status and illusions, and something else? The build meant that he could counter other cheats. The build was meant for killing those with cheat abilities. The sequence he came up with to safely kill cheat owners, and in order to stick to that sequence, he held back and died. But why you? Had a cocoon? Oh, they are swaying. No, it's nothing, really. He is a cheat killer, but I have no cheats, so there is nothing that can be taken from me that will possibly become a problem. Ah. Uh, Looks like I had anti-anti-cheat. Reverse cheat? Wait, isn't that just a handicap? Just where am I supposed to use such crap? Even if he used all the skills that he had and managed to kill me, stealing my skills, he wouldn't be able to kill the president and the others with my skills alone. That's why it was a checkmate for him, no matter what he did. Well, since it all happened in front of my cave, I had a buff from Hikokomori for protecting my home. Until now, it's also kept me from dying in the forest, despite my weakness, I guess. That's why I wanted to go back to the cave. The cave had to remain my home. That's the only place where I could fight. That's the only place where I could survive. Well, in the end, I thought he was a genius, but it turns out he's just an idiot? He could have won if he made use of all of his skills to overwhelm me. But in that case, he won't be able to take on other cheat users. So he held back? Kind of? He was a dumbass. He had his plans derailed by the idiots. Wasting all of his skills, he then held back against me and got killed by me. If he killed the idiots and stole their skills, he wouldn't have lost. If he didn't hold back against me, he wouldn't have lost as well. It's because he tried to take the place of a hero, despite being some side character. He was unable to become even a minor character and was killed by some side character. It was supposed to be a fight for mutual destruction, yet he crumbled before me. You don't even need to read the first page to understand this. Just read the introduction of other characters. We are just supporting characters. Side characters in an epic that is about to begin. Classmates A and B. We aren't even the characters. My role was supposed to be classmate A, who lives in that cave, taming goblins, who will get killed by classmate B, who came out from the forest, who will then die to monsters on his way out of the forest. Because he lost his power, that's it. And yet, while a minor character like me was tossed around by the main characters, he misunderstood his role. He thought that he was the protagonist. That's why the story fell apart, and that's why things fell apart, and I survived. He was an idiot that in this tale of a different world, in a world of swords and magic, still believed that one equaled one. Day 24 over. Or rather, day 25 beginning.